Now for our gluten-free people, you make the pastry in exactly the same way, only you use gluten-free flour. And the corn flour is just great because that is a good thing for the for the gluten-free people to use. Now the only thing is when you come to roll out the pastry, it's a lot softer than pastry that we make with ordinary flour. So to roll it out, you're going to need to put a sheet of cling film on your board and just a very, very lightly dust it with some gluten-free flour. Then we can put our pastry down and put our other another sheet of cling film on the top of that. And we can roll it. It's much easier to roll because if you don't, it'll just keep breaking up on you. So again, we can make these in the shallow tin or the deep tin. Now for the gluten-free pastry, I think it's much easier to make them in the shallow tin because when you go to put the pastry into the deep tins, it will break on you. Now I'll say that I could just take half of that away and just leave it on the side. Sorry, I just keep hitting my butt. The yield that you will get from the gluten-free pastry of mince pies will be much less than what you get from ordinary flour. So this amount should, would only make just over a half a dozen. Okay, so now we can take the, the top sheet of cling filling off the top. And we can use our pastry cutter and cut out our pastry. And now I can, these are just some that I've done already. And now I can, so you can see how much, how more, much sticky it is, how very sticky it is compared to the other one. Into that then we can just put our spoon of mince, because our mince meat is gluten free. In there. And again, with our star cutter, we can cut one for the top, or else we can use the round cutter. And again, you just bake them at exactly the same temperature. And we can now brush over. And they're ready to pop in the oven. And I'll be back shortly to show you what the finished product looks like. Okay, thank you. Bye.